TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kickkick.com. We are a lot live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, right above me, if we do go live and you happen to miss it, this is where the lives will be. I probably won't be live until September again because, you know, I'm in between cribs right now. I'm playing with my mama until my new place is ready. So, not going to be doing that. You know, saying salute to moms. <laughs> uh, this is merch. Cop it if you'd like, man. I appreciate it. If you even go look at the page, I appreciate that. Um, don't forget, we do got the Patreon Patreon, this is everything that's on there. We post Monday through Friday. I might not post this Sunday, just to let y'all know. I don't think I'll have time. Because once again, my situation is my situation at this current moment. Uh, so these are for Saturday, but I don't know about Sunday. Man, so, oh yeah. The link to those, are everything I mentioned is down in the description. Um, yeah, check it out. It's under the link tree. Click it, and it'll all come up. Man so dangerous, he killed love rival and drowned his body in acid. Hold on. Love can make you do some crazy things. I ain't even going to lie. That's why I stay out of it. <laughs> Let's get into it. This is by Gangster Times, man. Salute to them, man. So, guys, in this next story, a shotgun killer waited outside an innocent father of two's home for nearly 10 hours before he blasted him in the face and poured acid over his body after his girlfriend lied that he had done the word begin with R to her on a Tinder date. Drug dealer Michael Hillier tracked down Liam Smith, who's 38, to his home in Wigan, Greater Manchester last November in a depraved murder plot hatched by him and his girlfriend, Rachel Fullstall. Hillier, who's 39 years old, said he was acting in revenge after his girlfriend Fullstall told him she had been with the word being with R by Mr. Smith years earlier during a Tinder date. She did not go to the police and instead the pair decided to seek vigilante justice by planning Mr. Smith's death over a 10-month period. After the gruesome murder, Hillier and Fullstall went on a two-week holiday to Jamaica in a bid to avoid justice. When the killers returned home, the net began to close. Hillier was arrested and Fullstall was initially treated as a witness before becoming a suspect after she repeatedly lied to police during an interview. Hillier and Fullstall had now both been found unanimously guilty of murder after a six-week trial at Manchester Crown Court. CCTV footage from the incident after a jury found them both guilty of Mr Smith's murder. The four shared house surveillance video collected from the victim's home, a bin wagon and an Asda delivery van had captured Hillier's vehicle outside Mr Smith's residence on the day of the murder. Hillier waited by Mr. Smith's house for almost 10 hours before he got out of the car and murdered him. Police say they connected Hillier to the case because of the license plates associated with the vehicle R220RA, which Bro, had what? Just, yeah, like... been recorded in the footage. I'm not saying Mr. Whoever didn't do what he did, what she said she did, and I'm not saying that he did, but that was. I didn't even, like, I get it. Like, that was two years ago, but I get the rage that you have, but, like, bro. A few weeks into their investigation, the force was contacted by South Yorkshire Police who revealed they had stopped a vehicle three weeks before Mr. Smith's killing that had the plates inside. Investigators said that information is what really unraveled this case and ultimately led to Mr. Smith's killers. Ilya who was handcuffed in the dock, stared over at his former partner as the verdicts were returned today. Two jurors appeared tearful after coming back to court after six hours of deliberations. The court heard Fullstone met Mr. Smith on a dating app, Tinder, and the pair went on a date in York in 2019 where she said they had non-consensual sex at a hotel in York. She... Now, when I hear that, the thing that comes to my mind is... Bro had a hotel in York, okay? Yeah, I went on a date, okay? If the date was over, why did you go to his room? And, and nevertheless, that gives no reason. No is no and yes is yes. 
But why even go to the room if, if that wasn't what was going on? Now, you might have went up there and changed your mind. Like, no, I don't want to do... Did not describe it as the word being with R and said she went for lunch with Mr. Smith the following day. In 2020... What? R and said she New York. In 2019, where she said they had non-consensual sex at a hotel in New York. She... Did not describe it as the word being with R and said she went for lunch with Mr. Smith the following day. And then went to lunch with him the following day. Yeah, it ain't adding up. The math is not mathing. The ad is not adding up. It's, it's, the cap is capping. I don't even believe it no more. After that, you went to lunch with him the next day? I definitely don't believe it. That alone will make me not believe whatever else. <laughs> in 2021, she began a relationship with Hillier but said he could be verbally abusive and unpredictable and was not happy that she had a one night stand with Mr. Smith. She See, there it is. Here it's all coming out in my mind. You, had, you told him you had a one night and then to make him feel better, you told him that he... And no, he wasn't going for that. Told the court... The first she knew of the attack on Mr. Smith was when Hillier turned up at her house the following morning and told her. Fullstow, who is an international travel and tourism management graduate from Leeds Met University, said she was petrified to go to the police about her boyfriend. The court heard the couple then went on a holiday to Jamaica together days after the killing. Hillier, who told the court he was involved in a large-scale cannabis operation, said they had both planned the attack on Mr. Smith after Fullstow discovered she had been the word begin with R by him and he said, we decided jointly between the two of us that we would deal with the matter ourselves and seek justice ourselves and go down the vigilante route. He said, it's not surprising given only 1.6% of all reported cases make it to court. Hillier alleged he and Fulstow had bounced around ideas about how to carry out the attack on Mr. Smith. He said, she most definitely saw me as her kind of knight in shining armour. And then you went to court and got the snitching on her. You ain't that much of a knight in shining on her. Told the court during the trial that he had modified a blank firing gun, but believed it would only stun rather than seriously injure or kill. Hillier added, on the day of the attack, full store packed him a lunchbox full of food supplies, as well as his diazepam, hydration tablets and headache tablets. He told the court he had driven from his home in Sheffield to Shevington, where Mr. Smith lived on the morning of November the 24th, and waited there all day before the attack at around 6.40 in the evening. Hillier said he had approached the house because he was not sure if Mr. Smith was at home and after seeing him inside, returned to his Mitsubishi Shogun vehicle, which Mr. Smith approached a few minutes later. He said when Mr. Smith approached the car, he opened the door and called him a vile, disgusting. He added he knew exactly what I was talking about. The public gallery in court was cleared during his evidence as members of Mr. Smith's family. Everyone is searching for the right fit, and the She played on that man emotions and got him to M somebody, just so she didn't have to have the the arguments. Reacted to his description of the victim, Judge Morris Green told jurors they did not need to decide what happened between Mr. Smith and Fullstall. During his summing up, he said. As to what really happened on the night, we will probably never know and it probably doesn't matter. The court heard Mr. Smith was lured out of his house at around 6.40 by Hillier who shot him in the face before pouring acid onto his face and body, followed by soda crystals. Recovered phone evidence showed that Fullstow made that brutal. several internet searches in the days following the murder, firstly for information about the murder and then the meaning of the word premeditated and does acid corrode stainless steel. On the morning of the killing, she checked the weather in Wigan, the court heard, and full store was also found guilty of charge with perverting the course of justice. So during the trial, the court heard that there was a gun used in the attack, which has never been recovered, and it was allegedly a blank firing pistol bought by Hillier for around £140 from a gun shop in Nottingham in October last year, which was... A I didn't even know y'all had gun shops out there, honestly. A month before the killing. The court was told the weapon had then been modified so it could fire a projectile and was armed with an 8mm steel ball bearing and lead shot before being used to shoot Mr. Smith in the face. In covert recordings taken in prison and played to the jury, Hillier is said to say, 
We both wanted him to suffer, but that his intention was not to kill. He added, it was basically to maim him, disable him and then pour acid on his face to disfigure him so he was scarred for life like she was scarred for life. DCI Gina Brennan of Great Manchester Police's major incident team detailed the police investigation how they rumbled the plan. She said this was a proper whodunit from the start where I had a victim that we knew nothing about. No witnesses, no suspects, no weapon, no motive and very little evidence to go on. She had CCTV footage, some from Liam, the victim's home address itself and some from a bin wagon and a delivery van captured the vehicle driven by the suspect Michael Hillier on the day of the murder. What that showed us is that the car was outside Liam's home address for almost <coughs> 10 hours before he got out and murdered. He lurked for 10. He haunted that man. He, what is the word I'm looking for? Not haunted, but um, he uh, hunted, hunted. Liam, she said, we knew the build-up in that we knew the movements of the vehicles and we knew the obtaining of license plates and we knew how Liam had been killed, but we did not know who'd done it. A couple of weeks into the investigation, we received insult from South Yorkshire Police that a vehicle had been stopped three weeks before Liam was murdered and in that vehicle were the license plates R22ORA. It was that that really unraveled this case and the thread that you pull after that was a house of cards that led to one person to another to another to CCTV to Michael Hillier to a racial full stop. After the murder, Hillier and Fulstall enacted an elaborate plan to avoid justice and days later they went on a two-way trip to Jamaica. When they returned home, we began to close the net. Should have stayed in Jamaica, buddy. Joss added, Why is this a nine-minute video and it feel like I've been here for 45 minutes? Our investigation team has worked tirelessly over the past eight months to find answers for Liam's family and hopefully... The decisions in court today will give them some form of closure. Yeah, what did they get? This case has shown a number of complexities throughout, with Liam's name being tainted in the process and him not being here to defend himself against accusations that have been really difficult for the family to hear in court. So I'd like to thank our partners in the CPS and Prosecution Council who have helped secure this outcome and our thoughts always remain with Liam's family through this devastating time. Rebecca. Macaulay Addison for the Crime Prosecution Service Northwest Complex Casework Unit said Hillier and Fullstore planned the brutal murder of Liam Smith and attempted to cover their tracks at every stage. Far from being wracked with guilt following the murder, the pair flew out to Jamaica on a holiday for two weeks. However, the CPS worked with Greater Manchester Police to piece together evidence including eyewitnesses' testimony, CCTV, extensive mobile phone evidence and medical evidence to bring a strong case to put before the jury and the jury okay. agreed with the prosecution and found them both guilty, guilty. of murder. I hope that Liam's family and friends can be some comfort in knowing his killers have How been brought to justice. How many years they get? And my thoughts remain with them. So I just want to say rest in peace, Liam. And my condolences go out to your family. So guys, I'm making this video tonight, Wednesday night. I'm going to be uploading it because I'm away, but I believe sentencing is going to be happening on oh. Thursday. Obviously, I won't be able to do that. Okay, they got sentenced Thursday. Got it. Like yesterday or something. All right, man. Um, they probably got like 15 years minimum each. Maybe like 20 because they plotted and planned it. But TLO, leave a like, comment. Let me know in the comments if y'all know what they really got, man. I'm gone.